morning, folks. Business trip had me 100% off YouTube yesterday, gonna be the same today, so we're gonna have a more focused morning kicking off with Fukushima, unable to find places to store the radioactive water. The lone unusual quake of the morning so far, a five-pointer out in the Indian Ocean. Turning to tropical storms, just two on the map right now. Quickly, Santine is going to make landfall tonight. It is what it is. The last two years, these storms have been deadlier than in the past. Let's keep them in our hearts. Now that's an eye. Of course, Hurricane Sandy, my business trip has me 200 miles inland and the wind is still unfathomable. In addition to being strong, one would have to imagine that this directly southward wind is going to cool off this area by tomorrow. It is expected to hit New York. However, watching the GOES Vapor Loop and hearing my testimony on the wind, if you are on the East Coast, you will feel this. It was already felt in Cuba and the other Caribbean islands. Here's some of the damage. Europe. Two separate lows over your area. The north low is still freezing cold where these lows get firmly over land and at their convergence you see the precipitation forecast shifting slightly eastward tonight. Australia, you see that red high pressure system holding down the Antarctic low. New Zealand's still in the low but not for long. Going to be a warmer tomorrow for most of you. Turning now to space weather and starting with a gamma burst from the constellation Reticulum. This is total space weather quiet otherwise. Solar wind trying to hold a 350 kilometers per second mark with the density appearing to be scattered but within a small range. Usually it's at 0.1 and often goes up to 100. No flares either since that X flare four days ago might not change as we have serious decay in the active regions. Here you see modest bipolarity trying to mix above the former delta spot. The region turning the northwestern limb has a developing trailer of bipolar umbra, likely won't materialize however. Right around the time I released the news yesterday, a plasma filament sticking up off the southeastern limb ripped away and produced a significant hydro flare or solar tsunami. The north edge ripped away hours later. There was a CME produced, but it's going to miss Earth completely. That dark corona hole up top, if it's going to hit Earth, it's got about one day to do so. To the left of it is a thin, dark plasma filament that would affect Earth if it released today. Mars geocentrically opposes Jupiter tomorrow, and the full moon is hours later. Eyes open. No fear. It's about 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.